welcome back guys my name is Brian and today we're gonna record a Brazilian groove I've been thinking about this song I'm kind of obsessed with it at the moment so I'm gonna use my ukulele and the U bass along with some drum samples to create this groove um, and along the way I'll show you guys the chords hopefully we make it <laughs> fingers crossed here we go all right so I've got logic open here um, and I've already gone ahead and I figured out what tempo I want to record this at. Found a uh, conga drum loop online. This is what that sounds like. That's gonna kind of be my my metronome. The progression that I'm gonna do it goes one, two, three. Um. By the way, the name of the song is Parabéns. I'm probably butchering that because it's Portuguese. <laughs> it's written by Marcos Valle. Um, super famous, prolific Brazilian composer, performer. And he's got this song, Parabéns, that's infectious. I just really want to record this. And so we're going to try it. I like to maybe record like two at most three takes because I don't want to get too caught up in like the perfect take I'd rather just get a take let's see <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back to listen to each of those takes probably should have just done two I like that take one's good okay not bad uh yeah that third one's kind of bad let's just go take one all right next I wanna let me lay down some drums oh wait let me actually show you guys. So let me show you what that chord progression is. Uh, we're doing this in the key of D. So here we've got the F sharp minor, and then I go to a like a B flat major seven, and then I go to a A minor, and then this one is a B minor seven. You know? But yeah, that's the chords as they appear on the ukulele. What what's gonna happen is when I add in the bass, it's act, I'm gonna change the harmony. Um, by the bass line that I put in. So we'll come back to what these chords become, you know? So this is another thing I like to use. This is like a drum pad, like, um, you know, you can assign like sounds to each of these pads and then kind of like, kind of like knock out a quick little drum beat here. There we go. Okay, so let me list this beat one more time. I feel pretty good. I'm just gonna lay it down. I hope I get it. I think I'm gonna have to quantize this. Yeah, okay, I'll, let's, let's go with that. That's cool. Um, maybe I get a little, let's put it on the and of four. I feel good. Yes, this is good, this is good. Let's add some U bass. U bass. And I just recorded like a video about getting this instrument. This is basically the reason why I got this U bass, because I really want to just like have a feel for these bass lines, you know, as I play them. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't know if I want a more complicated bass line or first. I think I'm gonna go with a simpler bass line. Here we go. All right, we're getting somewhere. Okay, you know what I wanna do now is, there's some cool lines you can play over this song. By the way, the bass line I played, I played D going to C, F going to A. It changes the whole tonality of what I've just played above. So now these are all rootless chords, okay? So this now becomes D major seven. This makes this a C sus, like a C seven sus. Uh, and then I went to a F, right? That makes this an F major seven. And now this, because I'm playing an A, it becomes an A sus. Right, so I've got all these like seven chords and sus chords, and it sounds like this. Yes. <laughs> all right, okay, here we go. All right, 
so that's the melody of Parabens. And there's another part that's kind of this like a little riff. I, I think it goes. Yeah. I'm just gonna record one more line and we'll call this the riff. Cool, cool. Let's see how it sounds. Okay, we did it. This was awesome. This was fun. I hope you guys liked it. This is kind of my thing, you know? I like recording music. I like stacking and arranging parts and kind of making making a song or at least this little backing track. Um, and I know it's new, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching. You know, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't. And I know you guys come to me for like, you know, how do I play things on the uke. I hope this was useful that you got to kind of see at least, you know, what these chords are. And let me know if you have any questions. Let's just play this thing out and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.